All right, welcome everyone. My name is D-Rod. Welcome to Unlimited Power. As I am doing some prep work, we're doing some streams a little bit differently. And what we're going to be focusing on for the next couple of weeks on a couple of days, uh, like Thursdays, probably Saturdays, is focusing on training for a big event. So recently in Washington State, we just got the announcement of a 1K here in Portland, which is about a month away. Um, which I know is not in Washington state, but right below it. And uh, the same week we got the notice that we're doing a 5k in Washington state um, in June. So we essentially have some big events to begin prepping for, which is where we're going to start. Um, recently I did a video about like how to be a competitive player. And we talked about some of those things that you could do to, to get there. So we're actually going to be starting off from the beginning of my journey of prepping for these big tournaments, the practice it takes, the decisions as far as uh, what deck to play, what cards to cut, what cards to add, those types of things, and gauntlet training. So it's kind of going to be a long streaming series um, where every week we're going to tackle a few things. And today we're going to start off with one of the looking at the two decks that I'm thinking about, and we're going to try to play both of them today against a Boba Green deck, possibly Sabine. And just to try to help me feel, understand which one I'm more comfortable with. So the first one here is going to be Krennic. This is the version two of a deck I've been playing a little bit of. You can kind of see in here that it focuses more on events, a little bit more control heavy than it does have to do with like big hits from like a Steadfast Battalion or those types of things. Um, it definitely leans more into a Iden command build, but I've been really enjoying Krennic and I want to see if this is something I want to continue to take. So this will be one of the decks we're going to be looking at um, and trying out for the next couple weeks to help us make the decision on which deck we really want to play. Krennic I have the most experience with, that's for sure. The other deck we're going to look at is um, a little bit different, and it is Iden Red. This is the first deck we're going to be trying today. It's a little bit more of a control. Obviously, it doesn't have the ramp that you'd want with uh, Iden, but it's maybe a couple of answers that most people aren't expecting. Now, <clears throat> me streaming this whole journey means people are going to know what I'm going to play, but also we're in a deck, you know, first set of a series, meaning it's not going to be too out of normal for people to see you know, the type of deck I'm going to play. There's very limited decks that people are probably going to bring to this tournament. And I guarantee people will be prepping for Krennic, Blue Green, and Aiden, um, you know, Blue Black Red or Blue Black Green. So I think we'll be okay. But the first thing we need to start off with with this first stream is deciding which deck we're going to commit to. So in order to do that, I want to choose the one I'm enjoying. I want to choose the one I have the most fun with um, and the one I think that can get me there. So if I can identify that out of these two decks, that'd be great. Um, or at least, you know, figure out which leader I'm going to take. So let's just go ahead and hop to the stream and uh, start there, right? So we're going to figure this out together. All right. Hey, Mike. Let me finish up some shuffling and we can decide who's going to go first. Mike, can you just confirm you can hear me? All right, that looks like I'm going first. Cool. Awesome, awesome. So we got the initiative, so we're going to go first. We're going to see what we can do here. Mike's playing some Boba Green. Um, let's see. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Just check one more thing here. All right, look at these cards. So what did we draw? So in this deck list, it's going to be a little bit more control with the blue red, um, trying to make, force people to go to the late game, which I think is fun. Um, I definitely have more fun in that mid to late playing Star Destroyers and really controlling. The problem with decks like this with Aiden is against the control mirror match, right? Whether it's Aiden or Krennic, going that's control kind of runs into some issues. So we're going to see what we can do here. 
So I got a Palpatine that I'm going to go ahead and put down as a resource because getting eight is going to be a little bit hard. I have Takedown, Vanquish, Entrenched, Open Fire, and Mission Briefing. I'm going to drop the Vanquish because it's a turn five and it's going to take me a little bit to get there. I think we're good to go um, with no play for turn one, but that's sometimes that's what we got to take when we're trying a deck out. No mulligans. Let's see what we can do. All right, I'm ready. Uh, I'll take the initiative. The... All right. Mike's going to play Greedo. He's going to pass. Now, remember, Boba Fett needs to see units leave play in order to maximize his ability. Um, with Bo what happens was when a unit leaves play, whether it's defeated or put back in someone's hand or shuffled into their deck, um, if it leaves this zone, he can re react with Boba's ability and untap one resource. He wants to do that. Um, so the less units I put over there, the better, honestly. Let's see. We drew a Vigilance and an Imperial Interceptor. I love it. We also have a Mission Briefing still. That Interceptor's nice. I'm not too worried about my, my space units. So I think I'm going to drop the Interceptor for right now. So. Okay. All right, I'm ready. So at most, what Mike can do here is probably hit me with the Surprise Strike. He'll, he'll play Surprise Strike on Greedo and hit me for six. I'll be okay. So I'm just going to try to get ahead here with the Mission Briefing. I'm going to play Mission Briefing. So I'm going to choose myself and I'm going to draw two cards. Draw two. We draw Death Star Stormtrooper and Force Choke. Gross. Seven Fleet Defender is in play. He gets that shield. I'll take initiative. But this means we're only going to get hit for three by Greedo. Two, I'll take three. All right. Mike's going to pass. We're going to draw two more cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards in hand, which is great. We got Count Dooku, Death Star Stormtrooper, and we're hitting four. Uh, four is pretty good. We could open fire on... So Greedo, if we want to, we can also have takedown and Boba has no ramp this turn. So we got some answers here. So I think I feel pretty good. Let's drop force choke. Love that we have two vigilances. Vigilance is going to be great later on. Give us that life back. Either take care of some small units or do some milling. So let's go ahead and we got Greedo. We got seven fleet defender. Hmm. Let's do that. All right, I'll pay three for open fire and we'll deal four damage to Greedo. Get that reminder token on Iden Versio so we can heal one. What is Boba doing? Let's see here. Smart Mike decides to swing. It's a good move. All right, I'll take three. I'll go to six. I'll use Iden's ability and heal one. So I'm down to five. Again, he's probably stalling. He wants the Boba trigger and he takes the initiative. Perfect. We'll just go ahead and do this. We'll play Death Star Stormtrooper. Okay. And I'll pass. All right, five resources. I feel good when Boba's coming out on turn five. Um, I'm sorry, on turn four, like he should be. We drew a takedown and an open fire. So we have two takedowns, two vigilance, entrenched, open fire, and count Dooku. Entrenched we can use to play on Boba. Um, open fire and vigilance we can use to save on other stuff. Count Dooku's also a maybe here, so let's see. I don't really want to get rid of either takedown, but Dooku may be the right play for right now. We'll drop Dooku. We're at six. I know we can play him next turn. We're at five, sorry. So we couldn't play him for two turns. So we'll be okay. All right, I'm ready. Out comes Bosk. Gonna get that trigger. Ambush into 
boss there. He triggers the Boba. That's not good. No fun there. We'll go ahead and use Tarkin Town to finish off Bosk. We'll get the Iden Versio trigger here, which is good. Slowly heal. Take three, go to eight. I'll use Iden's ability to heal one, go down to seven. Right. Out comes Boba. Uh, let's entrench Boba. Correct. All right, so he takes the initiative. This allows us to have open fire ready if we really want to take care of Boba. I don't really feel the need. Boba's just going to take care of the big units, and I think I can avoid them. So let's hold on to open fire, and we'll just uh, pass. All right, I'll pass. Draw two cards. We got Death Trooper and the Avenger. Avenger is great for that late game. I think we're pretty solid. I'm going to drop the Death Trooper because I think we're going to be avoiding the ground arena, which is nice that you can do that with, uh, you know, obviously control decks. So we'll start there. All right, I'm ready. I think this turn, unless he puts out the fire spray, I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to kill the defender and uh, play vigilance. But first I got to take six. All right, so you're taking me to seven, from seven to 13. All right, I'll play vigilance. I'm going to heal my base five and I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill your seventh fleet defender since it has less than three health. Slowing him down. That's exactly what I'm doing here. As he tells me, it's just like, it's so slow. Like I've, he hasn't been able to do the stuff he needs to do. Takes a little bit more resources to do it. And uh, we're still in control, even though we have seven, eight points of damage. All right. I'll heal with Iden Versio and go to seven and I'll go ahead and pass. No point in me putting Iden out yet. Iden does come out with a shield so she can protect herself from uh, Boba, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and put down another Death Trooper. We do Death Trooper and Inferno 4. So now we're at 7 resources. I have another Vigilance I'm going to play this turn, um, which I can use to either kill something or mill. So we'll see what we need to do. We also have a Takedown and an Open Fire in case he actually plays a um, Fetz Fire Spray. So. All right, I'm ready. Oh, he passed. I'll take initiative. It's the thing of like, if you're going to pass and I'm hoping to get to eight or nine with Avengers and stuff like that, like I control the board. Um, a Boba Fett deck probably shouldn't be passing at this stage because all you're doing is guaranteeing I can get to Super Laser Blast or Avenger quicker, right? So that's kind of what happened here. He passed and now he opened himself up. I'm going to take the Force Choke, put it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight resources. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Let's see what's coming up. I'll play Inferno 4 and I'll scry too. Here we go. Restock in another Inferno 4. And put Inferno 4 on the bottom and restock up top. All right. I'll put one on the bottom, one up top. Here we go. Playing a Rook. Rook doesn't do much of anything. Six resources and a shield. Um, That's fine. That's fine. Let's go four. All right. I'll play Vigilance. I'm going to heal myself five. And we're going to go ahead and um, let's mill you six. I love Vigilance. I love it so much. There goes Step Fast Battalion. There goes Cartel Spacer. Greedo, a Boba Fett. Ooh, a Fire Spray. That's what I want to see, the Fire Spray. Great. That's so good. It's going to pass. 
Yeah, he's going to take initiative. Great. I'll pass. So we know we're going to draw the restock. We have an Avenger in our hand, so we can drop down the Avenger. Avenger is going to make him um, destroy a unit of his own choice. We drew a takedown and a restock. I now have three takedowns. Because I have the restock, I'm going to go ahead and put a... Uh, pu -pu -pu oh, no. Yeah, I guess I'll just put a takedown. Um, we have two takedowns in the restock. So we are now at nine. So we can get him to get rid of one of these units, which is great. Um, I would love a Vanquish to take care of a Fire Spray. I still don't have an answer for that, but that's okay. Let's go. Let's make him make the hard decisions. All right, I'll play an Avenger. You choose a unit to sacrifice. Oh, yeah, go ahead. He has initiative. He goes first. I'm all ready to kill everything. I'm always ready to kill everything. It shouldn't change what he's going to do. Yeah. Doesn't change. Three to base takes me from two to uh, five. And yeah. And then we'll pay nine for Avenger. Get the Iden trigger. And now what does he do? Does he play the fire spray knowing that it can like help him out a little bit? But again, it's it's gonna be too slow. We're at only at five health. He has to do 20 more points of damage. I have the open fire and the takedown so I can kill the fire spray in two turns. Or two actions. Ooh, barrage. Awesome. So you use the overwhelming barrage to kill the Avenger since he has the bonus, which is fine. I'll go ahead and use Iden's ability and go back down to four. I love it. So Iden just plays slow. That's the only problem with her and Krennic is like her healing will be a little consistent, but still slow. I'll take initiative. And we know what's coming here. Here comes a Gideon Hosk and a Death Trooper. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Let's go ahead and drop the Death Trooper, I think. This can take care of... Oh, Boba's too strong. Takedown can take care of Boba. Okay. It's not like I'm playing Gideon, honestly. Gideon will just die to the other Boba Fett right now. He's up anyway. Let's see what he does. We are sitting at 10 resources, Gideon, Restock, Imperial Interceptor, two takedowns, and open fire. I'm ready. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go. We'll pay four for takedown and uh, kill the Boba Fett unit. Again, we've done no damage. Here comes the fire spray, which is perfect because it'll hit the Inferno 4. Uh, two damage, and I'm going to scry the top two cards. We got a Force Choke and a Super Laser Blast. I'll put the Super Laser Blast on top. Force Choke can go on the bottom. Don't really need it. Laser Blast is just in case things get out of hand. He's taking two damage there. Let's finish this off. Um, let's go. Yeah. Um, I'll pay three for Open Fire on the Fett's Fire Spray for four damage. Get rid of that. All right, he takes the initiative. I'll use Iden's ability. Iden's ability to, to heal one. And we'll go. I'll pay one for restock. Choose up to four cards in my discard pile. Put them on the bottom of their owner's deck in random order. All right, I'm choosing Restock, Vigilance, Vigilance, and Avenger. They'll all go on the bottom of my deck. Shuffle these up. Nice thing is there are some ways of shuffling up this deck, which is good. Okay. 
and we're still good to go. Hmm, I can't kill Boba Fett yet, but I like the pressure, and we're at a good spot. So let's put the pressure. Let's put the pressure on him. All right, I'll play Iden. Deploy her. One, two, three, four, five. Um, actually, what are you at? He's at a 10. If I deal four damage to it, that's just going to do six. So won't kill it, but I think we're still in a good spot. Yep. I'll pay five for Gideon. And then I'll use Iden to swing into Boba. So she'll lose her shield and Boba takes four. All right. Put a little pressure on there. I want to see what he does. And I'll pass. Draw two cards. We know we got that laser blast. And now I got power of the dark side. So we will see what he does to start us off. He's If he held on to an overwhelming barrage, that'd be pretty smart. Um, doesn't really hurt us too much since we've only taken three damage. Yes, he's taken zero. But he doesn't have much big stuff. So we just need to get our vigilances back or get that Avenger out. Something else. See what he does. I'm ready. All right, there's Vader. Okay. All right, he's gonna search his top 10 cards with Vader. Uh, Seven Fleet Defender could come out. That's a little bit of a problem, but not too much. Um, Ooh, what else? What else? Cell Block Guard? Boba Fett? Regular Boba Fett unit? That's a little difficult, but not too much. Again, be fine. There it is. Perfect. 10 out of 10. That's not what I want to see. Because it's not really a problem. Let's see who he wants to attack. All right, kill an item. He takes four. He takes four. Uh, let's see. We can't kill. Um, let's do. Let's do this. I'll swing into your base for five. I'm just gonna super laser blast. Just whack the board here. Uh, let's laser blast. Correct. Destroys all units. Get that out of the way. There goes our entrenched we had on Boba Fett. I think we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Again, so training for this, we're currently tonight, we're just looking to see what is fun. What are we going to settle on? We have our top two decks. Once we settle on the decks, we are going to then focus on what cards we actually want to change. And then once we have that set, then we go into the gauntlet. So it's weeks of work here, but playing and playing and playing is what's gonna make us better for these bigger tournaments. And that's what you need to see, right? That's what you need to do to get better. I'll take initiative. All right, draw two cards, Count Dooku. Perfect, and a power of the dark side. We have plenty of options to kill um, Boba Fett here. Also, we're only at three three damage, so we're still good. Again, here's my only issue. I want the, these matches to go faster. I need them to go faster with Iden, and I feel like Iden Red does come across slow, and that's what I want to eliminate here. That's why I need to figure out, like, is she worth playing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is good. All right, I'm ready. Uh, power of the Dark Side for three. You'll sack a unit. Minder counter on Iden to heal. Sure. Uh, we'll pay seven for Count Dooku and we'll kill the defender since it has less than four health. Dooku gets a shield. We have three cards left in hand. I feel pretty good. Again, it's just now we've stalled out Boba. Boba has to react. Boba can't do the late game very well. I 
let's see what he does here. Waylay the Dooku. Great. Okay, I'll use Iden's ability to heal one. Sure. I'll take initiative. I mean, yeah. If you're gonna waylay, waylay, right? Then it's not. You're not really gonna get what you what you want. Um, so yep, yeah, we'll just go to Dooku. Dooku will kill it. We drew Palpatine and um an entrench. So again, we have answers for the Fett's fire spray. If that comes out, I'll just entrench it. Um, but we also have like power of the dark side, so I can kill it. All right, ready? Okay, we'll repeat. You we'll use Dooku. Uh no, it'll, it's just a target of anything four or less um with power. health actually so dooku kills the star viper what is he going to do lots of resources i have three left so power of the dark side can take out something not the probe droid so let's show him what he has let's show him what's in his future there you go is that is that was that fun <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right, he's scooping because he knows he has no answers and he's running out of cards. He has run out of cards. All right. You want to pull out your uh, Sabine? All right, let's try this deck out against Sabine. See how we go for. Micah S, that item decks look familiar. Ran into that yesterday with my Inquisitor deck. Oh, well, Micah, I may have... Uh, May have been doing some talking to a buddy, and I wouldn't, uh, I would give credit where credit's due. Is I have been messing around with a uh, world champion deck, a world champion player who's, uh, one, you know, world champion in a couple of games. Uh, Sky Terror, I believe, was the last one. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, doing an alteration of a deck that Tim Bunn has sent me. So it's not going to be exact, but it's very similar. And I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Again, am I taking Iden Red further? And I got to make that decision here in the next couple weeks so I can keep prepping for a big 1K and 5K tournament up here. Team Grizzly, what's up? Glad you can make it. Glad you can make it tonight. We are just, we're changing the format a bit on some of these streams where we're doing some prep for those big tournaments. And um, right now it's the decision of Aiden or Krennic, right? With Aiden, I'm trying a blue-red-black control build. With Krennic, it's blue-green control build. Both are going to be very similar play styles, and I just have to figure out which one I'm enjoying more because I do want to have some fun when I'm playing in these tournaments. So right now we're going to try against the Sabine deck. Got a seven. All right, I got eight. So we'll go first here. Let's get that good shuffle in here. Um, Oh, man. But, Micah, I'm glad you you showed up and you saw this. And, uh, yeah, credit where credit's due. There's some ideas in here. Um, I really feel like I only changed a couple of cards from what we're seeing. But uh, you now know. You've you've been playing against it, and you'll, you'll know kind of what to expect here. But um, it's doing all the things I like. I like going to the mid. I like going to the end game. I like having the control. Iden can heal a bit more than Krennic. That's obvious. Um but I need the speed, right? If we're going to big tournaments, I can't go to time. I don't want to go to time and I don't want to tie. I never want a double loss or yeah, double loss. So got to figure that out. Do the cut. Draw my cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Inferno four and death trooper are great. Force choke takedown. I think we're going to have to drop Palpatine and Hosk. We're going to get rid of three of those. Been lurking a few streams, Micah S. I'm glad. I'm glad. All right, I'm good. Now I did not mulligan. I don't mind it, but I really would have loved to see more of a a good three drop, um, like in front, um, power of the dark side, because with Sabine you just have to either trade with units or take them out. So we'll have to go from there. Also, don't like really ever going first with Sabine. All right, we'll play Inferno 4. I'll scry. 
Top two cards, Laser Blast and Power of the Dark Side. I'm going to drop the Blast, because getting to eight with red is harder. We're going to keep the Power of the Dark Side. Put one on the bottom, one up top. I'll take initiative. And the damage begins. One to each base. Right there. Right there. Let's go. So we got a Lion Sex Wing. Ooh, I got the Interceptor. That's cool. That's cool. So I have Power of the Dark Side and Death Trooper. Death Trooper is all right. Um, Death Trooper may not be what I really need when you're looking at Imperial Interceptor, Power of the Dark Side, Force Choke, and Takedown. So Death Trooper is going to go. Right. I hate wasting Power of the Dark Side on that Alliance X-Wing, but with Sabine decks, I'd rather play it safe and get it out of here. So let's do that. Uh, Power of the Dark Side on the X-Wing. Alright, sacked. Get that out of here. Let's see. I may be able to swing for two. Get the Iden trigger. Very important against uh, Sabine decks. Ooh, red three, red three. I like it. I like seeing red three because I have answers for red three. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. We have answers for red three. We can expect Sabine next turn. I think we should... Ooh, let's do this. Let's make sure it doesn't happen. I'll swing with Inferno 4 into red 3. I will Tarkin Town red 3. I'd rather waste the ability now to get rid of it because he needs it. And if I can save a card to take out another unit like Sabine next turn, we're good. So we use Tarkin Town to deal three damage to red three. Then I'll heal one with Iden. Uh, and then I'll pass. So what he also didn't do the Sabine ability last turn. So skip that. Yep. Correct. We're gonna draw another Imperial Interceptor and a Count Dooku. I think we're gonna drop the Interceptor since we have one. And so that gives us Force Choke and Take Down. Both can take out Sabine pretty easily. So let's see what happens. He's going to go first. We're at four resources. Zero damage on us. They have one. Playing one now. Spec for a soldier. I lose Sentinel. All right. Not a problem. I'll swing for two on your base. Grab the right, right token there. One to each base, huh? I'll pass. Again, not really intimidated with whatever he chooses. He wants that Sabine out. Ooh, I'm going to an A-Wing. Um, I can kill that. Let's just kill it. I was going to put out Sabine anyway, so I have some time. Uh, we'll Imperial Interceptor to deal four damage. Yeah, three damage, sorry, to the A-Wing. Get the item trigger. Reminder counter, sorry. Hit that trigger. Ooh, we're going to buy some more time. Second spec for soldier. Use Iden's ability to heal one. I'll take initiative. All right. I take two from her attack and one from her ability. All right, we're at three. Let's draw. See what we got here. Team Grizzly, you play any Iden? Are you, are you an Iden team? Iden family? Let's see here. Limited power sleeves. Let's go. We drew a Force Choke and a second Inferno 4. I think we're going to drop the Inferno 4 for right now. Puts us at five resources. Still in a great spot against Sabine. We have Takedown to take out the unit, um, which is helpful, but we won't have anything else to do to play. So. All right, if you're ready, I'm going to pay four for takedown and kill Sabine Wren. Uh, correct. That leaves two Spec Force soldiers. But we got two ships, and uh, I feel good. feel good. Two Force Chokes in our hand that I don't really want to play yet. Two to base puts me at five. I'll go ahead and swing on your base for three with the Interceptor. Two 
two to base. I'll swing with Inferno four for two to base. Yeah, Grizzly, I'm liking I'm liking Sabine. I forget like it does play a little bit more uh, legendaries, but less than some of the other ones. But obviously, the key ones would be um, like Super Laser Blast and those types of things. So. Oh, you did the Sabine ability? Oh. Correct. Yep. Yeah, I swung for two more. Mm hmm Yes. A steadfast Battalion. I'll have an answer for that next turn. Um, I'll take initiative. I'll have an answer for it now. I guess I'll use that Force Choke. If I had to Force Choke something, it needs to be worth five. I hate them drawing a card. Not what I want to do, but sometimes it's what you have to do. Now I drew a Power of the Dark Side and a Vigilance. I'm going to six. Obviously, I don't want to get rid of Vigilance, probably, or Dooku. So I think I'm going to have to go with uh, f oof, Force Choke. I'm going to keep Force Choke. Let's get rid of, uh, of um, Power of the Dark Side. As much as I love it, there's just a couple of small units I need to take care of, and I don't have the answers for it yet. So let's find those answers. All right, let's uh, play Force Choke on the Steadfast Battalion. Five damage, and you draw a card. All right. I feel good. I feel good about Iden Red. Again, it's going to have um, it's doing well against this early matchup, which is fine. I think that keeps it going a little bit longer. The big issues are just going to be um you know, just the slower meta matches. So I'm going to take 6 of base for that Rebel Assault. He gets to attack with one spec soldier and attack with another one. So that's going to take us from 7 to 13. Okay. I need that reminder token. Uh, I'll pay one, or I'll use uh, Iden's ability to heal one. I'll swing for three into your base. I'll definitely be resetting after this turn because Iden's going to come out, kill one of these units, and I'll probably force choke the other one just so I can get more healing. And feel a little bit more comfortable. Again, I think this is where I like Iden, where I don't like Chronic. And the possibility, maybe it's just I just go Iden blue green. Um, but I like red. I like red. Ooh, I hate that. I hate that. We got to get the healing in now. So we can do that. I'll swing for two with Inferno four onto your base. I'll deploy Iden Versio with the shield. go uh swing into k2so all right i'll heal one for it dying but then you deal three more back so the one two three takes us from 13 or takes us from two three yeah takes us at 15. Uh, let's force choke one of the spec force shoulder soldiers. I'll go down to 14 and you draw a card. And I'll pass. All right. I feel good. feel good about it. Draw two more cards. Restock and Entrenched. I have the Entrenched to deal with K2SO later. But our healing is going to be pretty good. We're at 14. So it's going to be harder for that um, gorilla attack pod. Obviously, that's what he wants right now. If he can hit me with for two with Spec Force Soldier or Sabine, he's going to play the Attack Pod. But I do have, um, whatchamacallit, I got Vigilance ready for that heal. So I'm pretty good. I'm ready. Thinking he has to put one more card down for the Attack Pod. I think the attack Grill Attack Pod is six. Ooh, Micah S, double aggression and or could sneak some wins. With Saw, it has some protection against actions. I like it. 
All right, two to base is going to take me from 14 to 16. Little does he know what's about to happen. Let's uh, let's heal. I'm going to pay six for Vigilance. I'm going to heal myself five, and then I'm going to kill the Spec Force Soldier since his HP is less than three. So I'm technically going to heal myself six. Now I just want to know if the Gorilla Attack Pod was in your hand. <laughs> it wasn't. I was hoping it was, but again, we were at 16. I'm down to 10. I've probably healed at this point 12 points of damage. It's a note that I'll have to make like at the end of the stream of like what's working, what's not. Fighters for Freedom. Uh, let's finish off Fighters for Freedom with Aiden. I'll take three, but then I go down to nine. I'm you, like, this is working. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just, it's all about speed. <clears throat> oh, using the ECL? Yep. Cool. Um, since they both die, I didn't heals one. I go down to set, uh, eight. I'll swing into your base for three. I feel good. This feels good. I'll swing for two. And I'll take initiative. Or take a pass. Alright. Second Count Dooku and a Power of the Dark Side. Opponent has no more units left. I'm going to go ahead and drop Dooku since I have one in my hand. We have seven resources in play. Four cards in hand. Power of the Dark Side. Count Dooku. Restock and Entrenched. Right. All right, let's go ahead and uh, you can keep Sabine out. I'm going to switch to uh, Krennic. Yeah. All right, so Sabine did, Sabine was fun. Um, what was difficult? Um, it was he healed a lot. So we're going to do one more match here, and then we'll probably talk about some of the decks and what we liked, um, just because we're a little bit on a tight schedule with Mike today. That's fine. So we'll do this. Krennic. Krennic and Energy Conversion Lab is what we're running here. So your typical blue-green build, blue-green-black build. Um, there are some changes in here. I am running restocks. I am running confiscates. Um, I, my goal is to really get to the point of, um, putting out the Star Destroyers. Hosk is in here. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, Gideon's usually the first card I think about as something that needs to go a lot of the time. Um, at least in the control matchups, it's good in the early matches because most of Sabine stuff can't kill it or Leia stuff, but at least not without two for wanting it. But against the control matchup, it's usually one of the first cards I have to get rid of because everyone has the answer for the unit. And I feel like it's not how I want to spend uh, my turn four is putting out a 5-5 five, five that will just die or put counters on something that will just die to a blue kill event, right? Um, so Gideon's one of those that are in here that I'm thinking may be the first one out. Uh, same thing with Overwhelming Barrage. Like when I'm looking at cards to go out as far as the... Sideboard, those are usually the first couple ones. So, get a good shuffle in here. Good, good shuffle. And we'll take it up. So, Krennic's definitely been the one I've been playing for a bit. Uh, I really enjoy him. Uh, this deck went 2 1 the other day at a local tournament. Um, I had to play against two Bobas and I only lost to one, beat the other one. Um, it was tough. I make I make them work for it. I make them work for it. If you're gonna bring Boba to the table, um, it's not. I'm trying not to make it easy for you. All right. All right. Uh, Sabine's going first. Do the quick cut here. 
Draw six. I'm going to try not to mulligan. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got Governor, Vader, Restock, Avenger. Gross, 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 gross. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to drop the Avenger because that's going to take a while. And I'm going to drop Vader because it's going to take a while. We do have Tech and Regional Governor. So we'll have to use both of those to our advantage. But we can. We can do that. Micah, getting can be difficult, but ECL into a weak unit, he could push your units up. You're completely right. Uh, that is where Gideon shines. There's a lot of cards that really shine with that ECL. Again, it's just I've been playing so much of that control matchup sometimes when I have Gideon out that it's just like the ECL just doesn't need to hit most of that stuff. <laughs> um, or at least it's one of those. I'm like, it may just, if there's something out, it's dead. But for the most part, I'd rather play like events. But against this type of deck of Sabine, Love it. Love it. One to each base with Sabine. Let's go. I'm going to pay two for regional governor, and I'm going to name... Uh, let's name fleet lieutenant. So no fleet lieutenants can be played. I'll pass. We have super laser technician... Resupply. I just drew Super Laser Blast and Darth Vader. Um, I'm going to drop the Super Laser Blast just because Vader's going to come out sooner. And so let's just drop that now. I'm ready. Red three. I saw that coming. Saw that coming. No answers there. Uh, let's resupply. He should take the initiative. But it'll probably hit me with, with Sabine. Oh, all right. I'll hit your base for one. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'll pass. All right. So I am at four. About to be at five. We draw a Devastator. We draw a second resupply. I guess we're going to drop the restock. That puts us at six. We have Super Laser Technician. We have Krennic we can put out this turn. Um, we have Vader that we're going to be able to put out next turn. So really, we got to get through this red three because he's going to give us a little bit of problem. Three to base. Takes me to four. Um, I'll deploy Krennic. Micah asks, what's keeping uh, from playing Command Blue Black lack is lack of Vader and Avenger and Luke can't seem to pull them. Uh, yep, that seems to be a big thing for a lot of people. It's about getting those cards. Um, Frank Meyer, which 5K? The Washington State 5K at SummerCon in, at the Washington State Fairgrounds located in Puyallup. Uh, I'll swing for two and I'll restore two. Ooh, that's a lot of A-Wings. I'm kind of regretting getting rid of that Super Laser Blast now. Um, let's see. I'll swing for one into your base. That's a lot of damage coming our way. One to each base. I really want to kill that Sabine. I just don't think it's going to happen. Guess we'll resupply. All right, I'll resupply. Yep. I'll take initiative. All right, three to base takes me to six. Is it three? It's four, technically, because you're, uh, you're not counting red three. So... All right, we are now at seven resources. We can play Boba Fett. Sabine is good at lane dodging. That's exactly what's happening here. Oh, I just got Cargo Juggernaut though. So Cargo Juggernaut and Super Laser Technician. I guess, gosh, I do. That's closer to that Devastator. Super Laser Technician, super important for what we need to really do here. Um, I'll tell you that. That's for sure. 
And Juggernaut's good too. Juggernaut's going to heal us and put a shield on a unit. Gross, gross, gross. I think we're going to have to go with the Juggernaut. All right. Uh, we're going to ECL. And we'll ECL into the Juggernaut. I'm going to heal four. Go from seven to three. Shield the Juggernaut and swing onto Sabine for four with the Juggernaut. Ooh, did I put a card down? I got to put a card down. That's got down. There we go. Uh, not anymore. So just a four, six. We should be at seven. And here comes that guy. And there goes Krennic. Uh, two, two goes back to you. I'll swing onto Sabine with Regional Governor for one. All right. Gives us a plus one power. All right, four to base takes me back to seven. I'm gonna take initiative. I am dual streaming on Twitch and YouTube. You say four to base? All right. So seven plus seven, we're going to go to 14. All right. All right. This gives us Avenger. I mean, not Avenger. Devastator, Super Laser Tech, and Vader in our hand. We are at seven resources. I'm going to drop this probe droid that we just drew. We also have the Star Viper. Um, okay, okay. So let's see. We got to take care of these space units, but I don't have any answers for them yet. Not a single one. And they're going to come through. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, swinging with Cargo Juggernaut into um, Steadfast Battalion. That that battalion gives us that plus one damage due to Krennic's ability. Now again, he, he has a lot of damage sitting right there. All right, takes me to 18. Swing for two into base. I don't have an answer. I think he has this one. If I would, I should have held on that blast. I really didn't think we'd be there. Say that again. Two. Two to base. Yep. Ah, wing leader. Let's see. So he has 14 damage. That's 16 damage. So 16 plus, or not 16, sorry. He's about to do seven plus two, so nine. Nine to 17, he has it. He has it. All right, that's it. You have the damage on the board. I have no removal. Yeah, it's always a gamble. It's Fleet Lieutenant, Wing Leader, or Red 3, usually what I need to call early. So any 3 drop, that just drastically changes the game. So. No, no, you're good, Mike. I appreciate you. All right. So... Let's go ahead and go back and take a look at some of these decks and, and what they did well and what they didn't. Now that Mike had to finish up, a little bit of shorter time with him today. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look here. So, nope, that's not it. That's it. All right. So, this is where we ended up with. So, with Iden Red, we had a good time with this. This is kind of what we're messing around with here. So, I'm running the restocks, a confiscate, inferno force, some entrenched, uh, force choke, death troopers, power of the dark side, mission briefing, open fire, vigilance, takedown, 
Pierre Interceptor, Gideon Hosk, Vanquish, Count Dooku, Super Laser Blast, Palpatine, and Avenger. You can tell kind of what this deck is trying to do. It's really trying to keep units off the board, keep letting you heal. This is going to be great as far as helping your, you know, forcing your aggro opponents to lose momentum, as well as your mid-range opponents, right? If everything they're playing doesn't have a unit they can hit, um, like Boba, they're not going to maximize what they do. If you're able to kill at least one unit a turn against Sabine, they're not going to be able to get too much damage on you very quickly. The goal with the Iden Red deck is to try to keep the board clear until you get to um, six to seven resources or even eight. Because once you get to eight, if you really need something big like Palpatine or Blast, you have it. But then you're just kind of set up with big power effects. This is your really traditional control. Um, if green didn't have the ramp it, it had, you would see more people playing Iden Red, I believe. Um, Iden Red is strong. I think it's really good. Um, again, this is kind of a variation of my buddy Tim Bunn's deck, um, which we'll kind of be looking at if we continue down the Iden Red path. Uh, now, the second deck, as we mentioned, is uh, Krennic. Krennic is the next one here. So Krennic's the one that we're really trying to spend some time in. I like Krennic. I like what I can do. Um, obviously, there's some dangers there with the... You don't heal as quick like you would against Sabine. Um, I think I would have bought myself a little bit more time, but I wouldn't have had the ramp. And that's the trade-off there. So with Krennic and Green, I have the ramp to get to some of the big stuff. Um... I like that he can make my stuff a little bit stronger, but honestly, there's parts of me that just says switch out Krennic for Sabine or for Iden. Um, just for that heal. Now here, let's look at what I like about Krennic so far. I run Confiscate and I run Restock. Confiscate's in here to deal with entrenched. A lot of people have some big entrenched cards if they're playing blue. I'd rather just kind of force that in my main deck. Restock is there to kind of bring back some of those bigger cards, whether it's Vigilance or um, Super Laser Blast, different things that I want in my deck. Now, these cards go on the bottom, but I don't mind that when you're playing cards like um, Darth Vader, because Darth Vader is going to give you that shuffle that you need, or at least, you know, not really shuffle, but he's going to be able to allow you to filter out your deck faster so you can see these cards again. It's very rewarding to take a Vigilance, play it, play a few of them, even play three of them and somehow get to play a fourth one in a game. Very rewarding. Um, next, we're seeing Scout Bike Pursuer, Regional Governor. You really want some of these early drop staples. Scout Bike Pursuer is here to kind of help with um, other cards like the Cargo Juggernaut because you can always play Darth Vader, put the Scout Bike Pursuer into play, next turn play the Juggernaut. Um, I just notice a lot of times when playing blue-green and trying to set up for a Juggernaut, um, a lot of times people will remove the blue unit and I don't take advantage of the healing. Cargo, um, Darth Vader really helps you bring that in. And so you should really focus on bringing in some of those low cost blue units um, rather than just like Viper Pro Joy to sell Black Guard if you can avoid it. Okay. Governor, I think, is a great main, main card right now. Um, it's obviously a staple in every blue sideboard, but I think in the main deck, you're you're pretty good. Right, We only have 250 cards in the set. It's very clear now after about two months which cards are the best and which cards are not. So you always have a good chance of naming a card just by seeing the colors. Now, as more cards get released, um, once we hit set two, main boarding, regional governor is riskier. Um, but I don't mind it doing now, doing that now. Uh, Viper Probe Joid really helps with regional governor anyway, because you can see what's coming. Uh, you see what's in their hand. You can call it out yourself. Death Trooper is just a solid three drop unit. I don't expect it to kill many things, honestly. Um, there's not much on the ground field that it can kill for Sabine, since most of those units have three health or four. Um, it's going to be okay against Imperial builds, really. Um, but honestly, it's, it's usually the first card to go when I'm resourcing. Power of the Dark Side, great card. Super Laser Technician, Ramp. Consortium Star Viper is going to help you heal, especially when you are playing a little bit more control. You're probably ending your turn first, going quicker um, in those early rounds, so that Restore 2 ability makes sense. Resupply is also a great one to play. We're trying to ramp up to the Star Destroyers and Super Laser Blast, so you want to keep that going. Uh, next is Cell Block Guard, just two of those. Vigilance, just two for now. Takedown, two. Gideon Hosk, three. 
Uh, Micah S. brought this up earlier in the stream. It is satisfying to use the ECL, the Energy Conversion Lab, for Gideon. Gideon swings into a unit, kills it, but can make himself or someone else stronger. Vanquish and Overwhelming Barrage are great cards. A um, little bit harder in the mirror match, but great cards to help you deal with a lot of the early uh, aggro. Cargo Juggernaut, also great to ECL because it has that shield. Vader, <coughs> sorry. Vader's amazing. There's a reason why he has such a high price point at this time. Uh, just amazing card. Super Laser Blast to deal with um, overwhelming units, which we wish we had earlier there. Avenger and Devastator. So Avenger comes into play, and when it attacks, has the same ability, forces your opponent to sacrifice a unit. Love that. Better when they only have one. Next is Devastator. Devastra Devastator is a 10-10, and it hits an opponent's unit for the amount of resources you have in play. This weekend, I was able to do 10 damage and then 11 damage on somebody uh, when they finally got rid of my Devastator. It has Sentinel and has Overwhelm. So it's a great card to put in your space board. If I could have gotten there sooner, um, that red three wouldn't have been a problem, but 10 is such a late game factor. Uh, let's see. How do I feel about... Oh no, I can't read the rest of that, that chat sentence. How do you feel about making opening for an early aggro? Uh, I feel great about making opening early aggro. Um, I like it. It is actually in the sideboard of the Iden Red. It's not in this deck with Krennic, but again, um, right now, I want to keep playing Krennic and Iden a little bit more, make a decision on on what we're going to bring to these 1Ks and 5Ks in the next couple months. We have big events before set two. Might as well take advantage of this limited um, amount of cards because we won't have another instance like this in Star Wars ever again. The card pool will only get bigger after this first set, um, no matter what the game decides to do um, going forward. So, you know, we're, we'll figure it out. We'll make a decision. It'll be Krennic. It'll be Iden. It'll be Blue Black something. Blue, black, red, blue, black, green. That's what we're going to figure out on the next couple of streams here and make a decision. So for today's training log, I had more success with Iden than I did with Krennic just in those three matches. Um, Iden definitely felt a little bit more fun, felt like I was in control. Krennic, I felt like I was rushing a little bit more to ramp so I can do more options. Obviously, that's a big part of that. But I want to play again, something I feel comfortable with, something I think that can get me there. So we'll be messing around with these two decks for a uh, next little bit. And uh, then we'll get into making some changes and then we'll go into training uh, more of with like gauntlet style. So appreciate everyone hopping in. I know it's a little bit short of stream today and it's also a little bit different than normal, but I'm liking it. This is the direction we're going to go for um, the next couple of weeks on some of our streams. We'll still be doing some um, highlighting some decks from Fantasy Flight and making some own. So you don't have to worry about this stream just being coming the Krennic and Iden stream for a while. We'll still do some alternate stuff and um, I'll keep working on some more content for everyone. But appreciate everyone hopping in. Have a great night. May the forest be with you.